Oksana and welcome to my kitchen again. Today I have something special for those of you who love pizza. I know what you're gonna say, but pizza is not healthy, pizza is not good for you, but today I'm gonna try to make healthier version of pizza which is made out of cauliflower instead of regular flour. Let me talk real quick about cauliflower benefits for your health. It's actually a super vegetable which has plenty of nutrition. It has a whole group of vitamins in it like vitamin C, group of vitamin B, vitamin K. It also has protein and it even has uh, antioxidation and detoxication properties as well as uh, anti-inflammatory properties. But I'm not going to talk about that a lot, so if you want to know, go to the link below this video and read about that on ucgym.com. It also has some fiber, so it's great for your digestion. And even some studies were done that it can prevent cancer, so it's a good idea to include it in your diet. And I just want to let you know that this will be my first time making this recipe. So we will see how it goes. And I'm not a professional cook, I'm just somebody who likes to cook and who tries to eat healthy and look, always looking for some good recipes. And I would like to share them with you as well. So if I can do it, you can do it too. And those are all the ingredients we will need for our pizza crust. First of all, it's so-called cauliflower rice. And how I made the cauliflower rice, it's very simple. You just take cauliflower, cut it into pieces, and then process it in food processor. And this is about four cups of cauliflower rice. Then we will need some goat cheese. And actually I saw a lot of different recipes which had a different kind of cheese in it. But goat cheese sounded good to me, so I'm gonna use goat cheese. We will also need one egg, but if you want to cut down on cholesterol, you can use two egg whites instead of one whole egg. And to spice things up, we will be using a pinch of salt and some oregano. Before we make a dough, we have to cook our cauliflower rice. And there is a few different ways how you can do it. I saw a lot of recipes where they did it in microwave. But I'm not a big fan of using microwaves, so I'm going to cook it. And I'm going to cook it in a little bit different way. It's going to be more steaming than cooking because I have only about an inch of water in my pot. And as soon as uh, water will boil, I will add cauliflower rice to it. So let's turn the heat on. As you can see, our water is starting to boil, so we are ready to transfer the cauliflower rice into it. I just take a spoon and transfer. And I'm going to cover this with a lid. And we are going to cook it like this for about 5 minutes on the low heat. We have been cooking cauliflower rice for about 5 minutes and the secret to a crunchy crust is supposed to be to drain as much water out of cauliflower rice as possible. What I'm doing right now. The idea probably would be to take a cheesecloth, put the cauliflower in it and squeeze the excess water out. But since I don't have a cheesecloth, I'm just using a paper towel, I put the cauliflower on it and as you can see paper towel is soaking the water out of cauliflower rice. Now it's time to mix all crust ingredients together. So I have four cups of cooked, shortly cooked uh, cauliflower rice, also uh, about one third cup of the goat cheese, one whole egg, or you can use two egg whites, pinch of salt and some dry oregano. Just going to use my hands kind of like you would do with a dog. 
just mix everything together. Then we will transfer it on the baking sheet with a parchment on it and just form the pizza crust. Kind of like you would do it with a regular pizza crust. Just form nicely. And now it's time to place our masterpiece in 400 degrees oven. While pizza crust is cooking, I have all my ingredients for topping ready. And you can of course use whatever you like, but this is what I'm going to have on my pizza. It's some chicken, some grilled chicken cut into pieces, some slightly sautéed mushrooms, some spinach and some bell pepper. And of course we will need some uh, sauce for pizza. I'm using tomato basil marinara sauce and some cheese to top the pizza off. And I'm gonna use a little bit of parmesan and some mozzarella cheese. Okay, our pizza crust is ready and this is how it looks like. I was baking it for about 35 minutes. And also one thing I forgot to tell you when I was uh, soaking the water out of the cauliflower rice, I used several paper towels. So it's probably a better idea to just use a cheesecloth and just squeeze all the water out of it. So, but it still came out pretty good, I think. And now we are ready to put some toppings on it. First, marinara sauce. And you can use your favorite sauce. Then some chicken and some mushrooms, some spinach. I love spinach. Bell peppers always make everything pretty. We will top it off with cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. You don't go too heavy on the cheese, not like me, and some Parmesan cheese. And now it's ready to go in the oven again. And now we will set this beauty in the oven again for another 5-10 minutes or till the cheese starts to bubble. Ta-da! Our pizza is ready. So pizza is ready and I'm excited to try it out. And here is one more tip to healthy eating. Instead of having three, four, five slices of pizza, have one slice and some salad on the side. Okay, let me test, taste this pizza. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't taste quite exactly as a regular pizza, but I really like it. So give it a try. Go to usagym.com. The link is below for written recipe. And I see you next time. Bye bye.